First on the American health front, we'll explore peripheral vascular disease, a condition that affects millions of Americans. Leg pain can be a symptom of peripheral arterial disease, which affects up to 30% of Americans older than 50. Or venous disease, a condition that affects up to 70% of Americans. I started to notice, notice some cramping in my legs at night after I'd been act active. I like to play tennis, I like to run. And then it just kind of continued to get worse. Vascular and endovascular surgeons care for patients with damage or dysfunction of blood vessels found throughout the body. A blockage or narrowing in the arteries, the vessels that carry blood to the different parts of our body, can lead to leg pain, limb loss, or stroke, among other conditions. Poorly functioning veins in the body can lead to varicose veins, skin ulceration, leg swelling, or severe leg pain. Board-certified vascular and endovascular surgeon, Dr. Taki Momin, and the highly trained team at Eastside Surgical Associates specialize in the education, diagnosis, and treatment of diseases that affect the arteries and veins. I care for patients with vascular disease by being able to offer minimally invasive treatment options as well as traditional surgical treatment in accordance with the patient's needs. Endovascular aortic aneurysm repair, balloon angioplasty for peripheral arterial disease, also known as PAD, are some of the minimally invasive procedures that I perform. A common complaint that people see me for is leg pain, a condition that can occur due to peripheral arterial disease and or venous disease. The key to a successful outcome is an accurate diagnosis. Now, let's explore the diagnostic choices they employ. My evaluation of patients with leg pain begins with a comprehensive physical examination. In addition to the examination, we perform ultrasound testing. In the case of patients with peripheral arterial disease, we also perform a diagnostic angiogram for confirmation, at which time we can also treat the peripheral arterial disease at the same time. These specialists in vascular care provide both minimally evasive and open surgery choices. For patients with PAD, balloon angioplasty with or without stenting often cures the patient of pain completely. It can also enable healing of ulcerations in the foot due to PAD. In patients with leg pain due to chronic venous insufficiency, the minimally invasive technique of venous ablation can lead to pain-free legs that are also cosmetically appealing. Chronic venous insufficiency is an underdiagnosed condition that can be corrected for a tremendously improved quality of life. My goal in caring for patients is to provide minimally invasive treatment options first, but open surgical treatment such as carotid surgery for the prevention of stroke can be beneficial. Hemodialysis access for renal failure patients is another commonly performed open surgical procedure. Nobody, really very few people outside my family knew I had it done even. You know, I was back on my feet a couple of days and, you know, it's just continued to get better over the last six months. You know, when I would run or play tennis, I used to get a little fatigued in that leg. Not anymore. Eastside Surgical Associates, experts in vascular care.